Geh schon, komm drauf. In case you're wondering what's going on, this is the ancient sport of megars, otherwise known as horseshoe pitching. The object of the exercise being to throw your horseshoe as near as possible to a peg in the ground, which is 11 yards away from you. It's a traditional sport played at crossroads in the old days, mostly in the counties Wexford, Carlow, Kildare and Leash. Today the sport is enjoying a big revival and there are leagues even as far afield as Kildare and Galway. And last year, the game got official recognition as a serious sport when included in the RDS Horse Show. But they're very heavy anyway. It's good exercise in it. How do I hold them? Well, yeah, everyone has a uh, different ways of holding them, but the way I hold them myself is I put the, the long finger in under like that. Yeah. And that one at the top and the thumb, that's the the balance finger. The thumb is the balance finger. You I have to see. keep it right with that. Yeah. No. Now I can demonstrate and show you how to... Well, you you, you have to go first I'll and then I will. First, yeah. Okay. Right, see. okay. <laughs> Duck for cover, everyone. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> I think I did something wrong. You're not putting enough force behind it. All right. There, you know? Will Let's you do it again good, then? And I'll, I'll, I'll do it again, yeah. You must uh, get a good s swing behind it. Right. Keep it spinning in the air as well. Oh, wait, no, I think yeah, I'm... Yeah, we're outside, we're outside, yeah. <laughs> a really limited time you get used to the balance of the show and the, even the way you stand is, is essential, you know? I suppose so. Then there's apre makers, which usually means adjournment to a nearby hostelry for the rest of the evening. Horseshoe pitching is thirsty work. Joe, tell me, what's the history of it? I mean, what was the beginnings of it? Well, uh, horseshoe pitching... Uh, is a very old game, or better known to most of the people who are here today. It would be called Megers, this very funny name that you said yourself. Well, it has been in existence back, the records prove, to the second century. The Grecian and Roman armies played it, and it was uh, a type of a discus at that time. And then uh, the soldiers who weren't, we'll say, as wealthy as the officer type, they <laughs> discovered and discarded shoes they weren't able to afford the discus and they started pitching this old horseshoe up at pegs and that's the earliest uh, m uh, record of the game in england around the 1890s the first set of rules came into being and then in 1909 i think it was america they started and set up their own rules and probably they're the uh, part of the world where the greatest number of people play this game it's on a very large scale with uh, actually the uh, well-off type have private stadiums built underneath the houses. Uh, 
in Ireland, my earliest recollection of it was searching outside the blacksmith's shop for the best old show you could come by and playing it at the crossroads. Dennis, are you sure it's not a way of getting away from the wives and the kids for, say, a day and a night and the thing goes on for eight hours? <laughs> well, well, you know, some people might think that, but in fact it's a, it's a, it's a family sport, you know, really. All children from nine and old people up to 90 can play it. Anybody to control women as well as men. There was a man no of 70 problem. there today. There was, of course, yeah. Well, all over the country in... in as Pat said, in Wexford, to have, I suppose, 50, 50 people over 50 years of age, you know, and 50% under. There is a great social aspect, because you can take out, you know, bring your family with you and have a, a, so a night out as well. Mind you, as a lot of people think, it's a beer session. It's not a beer session, you know, but there is, it is a great social, and you meet... It's a very social way of meeting people. We met people from all over the country. You know, people from Clare, people from Galway, people we never knew existed before now. And after all, if you watch television, I'm sure you've seen it on most of the films and the cowboy films, and on MASH movie. of late. On MASH? On MASH, yeah. Um, horseshoes have been thrown. I didn't know oh. that. Now I'll keep my eyes open. So Who is it that throws them? I think, um, Hawkeye, is it? <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, Michael, um, is it a sport that could ever be really taken seriously at a national level, tell me, or is it just a bit of kind of local fun? No, I'd say it could be taken seriously at national level, at least we're going to be pushing for that anyway. Like, um, anyone interested in going to the Dublin Horse Show this year now in 1981 is going to see the all Ireland final, we hope it's going to be played there. Jim, I saw all the ladies outside giving support on the sidelines, but I didn't see any of them pitching in. It seems to be very much a men-only sport. Well, uh, not necessarily. Um, the women um, all over the country they are maybe looking in on this now. They're quite welcome to take part. As a matter of fact, I'd like to take, the, take this opportunity of issuing a challenge to any of the women that are looking in, and we will take them on anywhere they want to in the country. Uh, playing the game of pitching Play, horses. Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean anything else. <laughs> Advertising himself again. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should delete that, didn't you? <laughs>